Wishing you all a very vibrant day. Myself, Sushmita, going to take the NPRT science. Science is the power of observation. It's all around you. A good observation and a very inquisitive mind makes you the best. In my tutorial, I have insisted on this only. Like my, like my channel and subscribe and press the bell icon for the further notifications. So today we start with lesson one of chapter one of class six, food, where it comes from. Children to get energy, we eat different types of meat and we are divided or according to the diet. A meal we take is possibly we take a great than the lunch and then the dinner. Now let's see what did we have for our breakfast. Suppose I, I had a wild milk, my friend, she had milk and juice. Similarly, for lunch, dal, roti, rice, vegetable, you can name any vegetable, say a lady finger, salad, and cheese. So now I have left for you to pen down, that's the work to do. Now children, it's four hours, it's made up of many different things. And different things are called ingredients. So let's make a table, what we are eating, the ingredient, and then we write the source, where we are getting these ingredients from. So let's take four hours. Wheaten rice, onion, potato, chili, oil, salt, and many more spices. Then I have a cup of milk, milk, it has the milk, and the sugar. So let's take the source for wheaten rice. Rice, obviously, it comes as a grain and it's coming from plants. Onion, potato, chili, oil coming from plants. Similarly, oil, oil if you have again, it is from plants, and the salt comes the bottom up. And now let's take the second dish I have that was milk, milk and sugar. So milk is coming from animals, yes. And sugar, again, from sugar cane, and sugar cane is the type of plant. So here we have seen the ingredients are coming from different sources. The sources we observe were plants, basically plants and animals. The parts of plants which we eat are all eatable parts. So we are taking different parts. This uh, one of our left and right only. That now, if you are eating the plant, what part, what eatable part of the plant, of the or the plant is this? You can fill it up. Now, next we come to the animals. Animals. Animals eat differently. We know that the stage of animals, cow, goat, lion, dog, etc., etc. So far, what are the bees? Grass, goat, then lawyer, yes, and dog. So we see the first two are eating grass, cow and goat, then the lion it eats the fish, and the dog it eats the vegetables or the dog or which part of everything and as well as the fish. So on the eating habits, animals are divided into carnivores, the ones those who eat the plants, carnivores. The one, those who eat the flesh of the animal or the meat eating plant animals. Omnivore, which eats vegetables or the plants as well as the meat or the fish. These are called omnivores. The three categories are omnivore, carnivore, and omnivore. So, today we have seen the food which we eat, the sources, the ingredients in the food which we take, and the sources from where we are getting. So the new words you learned today were ingredients, ingredients. You can see the marker out there uh, letting you pronounce the word properly. Edible, herbivore, carnivore, and omnivore. With this, I'm going to project for all. So I tell you how to do a serve and you will bring yourself. You have to make your own platter. Now by saying platter, I mean your colleague. Take a thermocol. Uh, uh, take a thermocol way uh, Ali, and in that you put the things you eat. Don't put, uh, you have to insert dal for the pulses, instead of rice for the right way, and so for the raw right way. And make your platter, write down the sauces and the eatable parts if you can. Secondly, we have to think. When we read a text, we have to think. Why are we reading it? So, you have to think, does everybody get the food in India? 
it is everybody able to if no why secondly the question which i want to put up is how can you continue in stopping the way it came to root what are your ideas then we are let me have your answer thank you